Here's how to install ThoughtOffice on Windows XP. If you purchase ThoughtOffice, click the link we sent you by email. And if you want to download the demo version, go to the ThoughtOffice website and click the button that says Free Demo. That button will take you to our free demo page. Click on ThoughtMan and he will take you to our download page. Choose your operating system, Windows or Mac. Mac users will have a video for you guys real soon. Click the appropriate icon, in this case Windows, and this will start the download process. You'll be downloading the ThoughtOffice installer package for Windows. Now here we're saving it to the desktop. Once the file is downloaded, it'll appear as an icon on your desktop. Double click the icon to start the installation process. Now we see that the ThoughtOffice installation wizard has started. Go ahead and click Next. The next screen you see shows you the end user agreement. Review the legalese, click on Accept, and then click Next to begin installing ThoughtOffice. The next two screens show you the folder where ThoughtOffice will be installed on your hard drive and where the program folder will be located in your program menu. Now my advice is just go with the defaults. If you try to customize things at this step, you might not get the best performance out of ThoughtOffice. Just click Next to proceed through the screens. The next screen you see shows that ThoughtOffice is now ready to install. Click the Install button and you'll see the progress bar move along as the program is installed on your PC. Finally, we see a screen that says the installation is finished. Click on Finish to exit the installer and if the box marked Launch Application is checked, ThoughtOffice will start up immediately. Now when you first start ThoughtOffice for the first time, it'll do a little housekeeping. It'll check for any updates and you may see a box pop up that says a new version is available. Click OK to download and install the updates. You go to the next window, hey, there's more new versions. Click OK again. Now this next step is important. If you purchase ThoughtOffice, enter your registration information in this window. Enter your email address exactly as it was shown in your registration email. On the next line, copy and paste, or enter, the license key from your registration email. That's the long, unique series of numbers, letters, and special characters that's in the email. Then click Register. Now if you're just installing the demo version of ThoughtOffice, don't worry about the registration. You just click Close, and the program will run in trial mode for the next 15 days. And that's it! ThoughtOffice is all installed and ready to start brainstorming. Now you can go and get yourself a tall frosty one, or if you like, you can open a demo session to play around with. Demo sessions, you can find those at uh, thoughtoffice.com and download them there. Look under the Topic Modules section. Once you have your demo session downloaded, click on File, Open, then locate the demo session file on your hard drive, then click Open. Voila! You are now officially brainstorming. Excellent, huh?